In 1861, Hymns Ancient and Modern was published, and it changed the face of hymn singing forever. It eventually became the most widely used hymn book in the country, and gave us many of the nation's favourites, such as Abide With Me and Eternal Father, Strong to Save. But what was sung in churches before then? Cathedrals, of course, did what they always do, and listened to beautifully sung sublime music by Gibbons, Tallis and others, composed for their professional choirs and organists. Parish churches instead relied on the local village choir, and they sang metrical versions of the psalms. We still sing some of these today, such as The Lord is my shepherd, I'll not want. From about 1700 onwards, first in the nonconformist churches and then increasingly in the Church of England, a wonderful repertoire of hymns, psalm settings and anthems grew and flourished. It spanned everything from hearty Christmas carols for singing round the village on Christmas Eve, through to poignant anthems or psalm settings worthy of a respectable parish church with some good singers. As few churches had organs, the village musicians began to provide accompaniment, and so the distinctive sound of the 18th century parish church service emerged. until the Victorians put a stop to it by bringing in organs in place of the band and a single hymn book to sing from. In recent times this repertoire has been rediscovered and there are a number of choirs around the country dedicated to singing it once again. London Gallery Choir is based in the City of London and has a repertoire of well over 600 pieces with new ones being added all the time as they're discovered in old hymn books or the deeper recesses of the British Library. Come and join us for an enchanting evensong or a lively concert. If you enjoy singing in a choir or play an orchestra or folk instrument, come and try it out and maybe you too will fall under this music spell. Please